At well, family and friends prepare to say goodbye today to a grocery store owner gunned down in South Philadelphia. This morning, police have a suspect behind bars for Marie Buck's murder. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live outside of police headquarters this morning where investigators may have a motive for her murder. Trang. Well, good morning. Yes, they believe it involves a necklace that the suspect believed the victim's grandson had stolen from him and he wanted to be paid back. But now a family prepares to bury a wife, mother, grandmother, and cherished member of the community. I, I bet you the whole neighborhood is here. The outpouring of mourners outside Baldy Funeral Home Thursday night showed just how beloved Marie Buck was to her South Philly community. She'll never be forgotten. Never. The 81 year old grandmother lived and worked near 6th and Titan inside the grocery store that bore her name for more than 40 years. Tragically, it was also the place where she was killed. Really, it's sad and really very, very upsetting, you know, to know that a woman that tried to always help some people. You know, that a tragic thing like this had to happen to her. Officers arrested 31 year old Maurice Green and charged him with Buck's murder. Police say Green went to Maurice's grocery on Christmas Eve morning looking for Buck's grandson, who allegedly stole a necklace from him worth thousands of dollars. So we think he went there with the intention of shooting and killing the grandson. He opened the door, he saw the grandmother, and at that point, he made the choice that he was going to kill the grandmother. Buck was shot 11 times, an act so senseless and violent, it shook even the most veteran of detectives, who hoped to bring some comfort to the family through swift police work. It's one of the more horrific murders that I've dealt with in nine years. You have an 81-year-old grandmother, defenseless, uh, who is who's beloved by the community, um, and to be killed in this in this manner is just horrific. It's very sad, but we are very happy that we were able um, to put this to a close in a very short time period. And a second viewing is scheduled for Marie Buck for 9:30 to 10:30 this morning at Baldy Funeral Home. A funeral mass will follow at 11 a.m. at St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi Church. But for now, we're live from police headquarters. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Jan, back to you. Thank you so much, Trang.